Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today we're going to create menus for different restaurants using Metabox and Bricks Builder. As you can see, we already had a website with many restaurants. You may want to create their own menu for each one. Each restaurant is a post of a custom post type named restaurant. And the details of each restaurant will be displayed in a singular page like this. This page is built by Bricks. In this practice, I will create a menu and put it on the singular page. The menu will show information about the particular dishes of the restaurant. Normally, we can create a new post type and each dish will be a post of that post type. However, here, I want to put dishes into a menu for a particular restaurant. So, instead of creating each dish as a separate post of different post type, all the information such as the name of the dish, price, short description, an image of the dish in this menu will be saved in custom fields stored in the post containing the restaurant's information. First, we'll use Metabox to create a custom post type and custom fields. Furthermore, we'll need some advanced features of Metabox. So you can install its extensions individually or use Metabox AIO to have the following extensions. MB Custom Post Type helps create custom post types for restaurants. Here I've already created a custom post type named Restaurants to save all the information about each restaurant. So, I just skipped the step of creating a custom post type. Next, Metabox Builder has a UI in the back end to create custom fields easily. Finally, I built this page with Brick Builder, so I have it here. In the post editor in the restaurant custom post type, I created a group field. Inside it, there are some subfields for you to fill in detailed information about the dish. One allows to upload photos. The others allow to fill in the name, price, and description of the dish. This group is set as clonable so that we can clone it and then add more dishes like this. To create them, go to the Metabox menu. First, I'll add a group. There is a collapsible setting here. When you check this box, you will also see two options. If you choose the first option, the field will display like this. In the event that you choose the second option, the group field will collapse to be neat when you have many dishes for the menu. So, I chose this option. Next, I will use these variables to name the group title according to the corresponding name of the dish. This will count and show the number of the meal. And this is used to show the name of the dish as the title of the group field. As I said, this group will be set as clonable to add more information about different dishes, so check this box. Then create the subfields for the dishes information. After creating all the fields, move to the Settings tab, choose Location, as Post Type, and select Restaurant Post Type to apply these fields to it. Now, in the Post Editor, you will see all the custom fields. Then you can fill in the information of the dish into the custom fields. You can also click Add More to have space for inputting more dishes. Here are some examples that I have already added. I already have a singular page that displays all of the detailed information of a post in the restaurant post type with a template like this. On this page, there is available general information. Let's edit the template of this page to add the menu. First, to contain all the menu information, add a new div. Next, choose the heading element and name the menu. To contain the dishes information, add the container element inside the div. Then, to get the data of the dishes, enable the Use Query Loop button. And in the Query section, choose the type of data source. Because our information is saved in the custom fields which are included in a clonable group, we should choose the type here. 
This is the MB group along with the name of the group that we have created for the custom field. To get the dish's name, choose the heading element. As the name of the dish is saved in the custom field of Metabox, use the Select Dynamic Data button. Then, look for the field where we store the name of the dishes. There is a section for the Metabox that includes the field created for the restaurant post type here. This is the wanted field. Now you can see that the dishes' names have just been displayed. For the dishes' price, choose the basic text element. It's also stored in the created custom field. So we also use the select dynamic data button and choose the field correspondingly. Then, you'll see the dishes' price displayed immediately. To add the dishes' description, we'll use the basic text element as well. We can duplicate this element like this and change the information to get the right one. For the last information, the dishes image, choose the image element. As the images are also saved in the custom field, choose the select dynamic data button and select the right field. Here, you see that the dishes image has just been obtained already. We have just displayed all the wanted information of the dishes. Go to the front end, you'll see all of the menu information. Back to the page editor with Bricks Builder. Then customize each element to style them in your own way. I'll add some images to decorate the menu. On the front end, you'll see the wanted style of the menu. That's all for the tutorial today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye.